kind of help me with this book kind of I guess kind of guides you so why do you think people don't take risks because they're afraid that's it why are they afraid because they shrink themselves so small when they don't realize how great they really can be okay do you think they've, they've learned that meaning that somebody's told them that they can't do it what do you mean by that meaning that check this out in kindergarten for the most part in kindergarten Unless you just had a messed up childhood and believe me, there, there are little kids as, as early as five, six years old who have gone through very traumatic experiences. In fact, I was talking to a teacher friend of mine yesterday. She was telling me about this one student who was you know, five years old and was getting in trouble every day in her class. And we kind of talked about why the student was doing that. And she said, well, her parents were meth addicts. Her parents would let her watch whatever on television. So five years old, five year old little girl, you know, already watching pornography to mess her up. And so what I mean by that is that for the most part, you see five, six year olds, you ask them what they want to do. And you know, they, they start, they dream big for the most part, right? I mean, firefighter, lawyer, doctor, all this good stuff. But you know, they get to the sixth grade and what do you want to do? And it's, I don't know. And what I feel is this, is that somewhere along the way, somebody told them they can't do it. Somewhere along the way, somebody said, hey, you know what, you're not smart enough. Somewhere along the way, somebody said, hey, you know what, stop dreaming like that. That's too big of a dream for you to do. That's what I believe. And so you know what happens? Is that that stays in their psyche. That messes with them, that stays right there. And so they start speaking that. They start saying, you know what, maybe I can't do it. And so then, let's go into sociology, because I'm a sociologist, self-fulfilling prophecy happens. And self-fulfilling prophecy is when you keep saying something, you keep telling yourself something, and guess what? That happens. What you expect of yourself happens. And so that's what I mean by that, is that sometimes people, they don't risk because they've heard, I can't do it. Yeah. They've heard it's not gonna work. But here's my thing, what if it does work? Yeah. What if it does succeed? What if you don't fail? And what if you do fail, but you get back up? And after you get back up, guess what? You touch the lives of 20, 30,000 people. Or maybe not even 20, 30,000 people, but you touch the life of one person, and guess what? If you touch one person's life, it's enough. Me, when I leave today, if I know that somebody here was impacted because of what I said, it was all worth it. It was all worth it. As Ratliff said, I, I drove six hours from uh, Pearsall, Texas, which is about 45 minutes south of San Antonio, back home. Woke up this morning, 4.30 in the morning, got a little workout in, came here been here since 9, gonna finish probably about 5 o'clock, 5.30. I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be exhausted, but if one life was impacted, it was worth it, man. It was worth it.